Janice Hansen is on a video chat with her daughter. Hi. Hi, Mom. I'm, I'm... How are you? Hansen uses her tablet to stay connected with her kids, grandkids, even a few great-grandkids. But this isn't a story about how tech-savvy seniors are dialing into the latest apps. This is a story about software that's custom-built for grandparents who've been left behind by the tech revolution. The problem isn't with them, it's with the people making the technology. iPads and iPhones are way too hard for someone who's 90 years old and who's never used a computer. Isaac helped create the GrandPad. So you basically have to um, eliminate a lot of the assumptions that you usually have if you were designing maybe a typical mobile app. Um, things like the user knowing how to pinch to zoom or double tap um, or even to touch the screen with their finger. Um, these aren't innate uh, human kind of um, ways of interacting. So what we've done instead is designed something with a nine-year-old in mind. Isaac and his father Scott brought GrandPad to Launch Labs in Orange, California, an incubator for startup companies like theirs. As they developed GrandPad, they got rid of the technology barriers that frustrate seniors. No logins, no passwords, no software updates, no plugins, no spam, no double clicking. Instead, they developed a closed system, safe from internet predators, where seniors could email, call, and video chat with loved ones, share photos and videos, listen to music, and most of all, stay connected. Because they're connected, they're in the flow of emails and pictures that, that they're reaching out. And when they see their grandson, they can say, hey, great job at that wrestling tournament. I, I saw you. And it's like, wow, Grandma, how'd you see that? So it's, it's all about reducing isolation and loneliness. You know, isolation leads to loneliness. Loneliness leads to depression. Depression leads to all types of health issues. It's very easy. Yeah, it's great. The GrandPad team demos the tablet to seniors, like the residents of this living facility in Santa Monica. But most of these folks take some convincing, wary of the technology roadblocks they've hit before. Yeah, I have an iPad myself, and I do not use it to its full capabilities. Not only that, every time I call up my grandchildren to ask for help, they say, Grandma, we already told you that. The story is the same for Edith Sharoni. She was trying to figure out how to use her smartphone when she discovered the GrandPad. I said something to my daughter. I said, maybe I should go take a class on how to use the smartphone. And she says, I don't know. <laughs> so then when this came up, and she says, that's for you. Now, the pictures and videos everyone in her family shares on smartphones go to her grandpad, too. Sharoni says she feels reconnected. We think in the United States there's over 20 million seniors who could benefit. Um, and that's why we're doing this, is to help folks that are disconnected from their families. Hi, how are you? Not only is Janice Hansen reconnected with her family, but she and her grandpad are the life of the party during get-togethers at her senior residence. And I took it, and I shot the whole room so I'd have a, something to show, and then, so I showed everybody that I could what was there. And one guy said, oh, I don't like that picture. You better delete that. And I says, okay, let's take another one. <laughs> I, I took another. <laughs> but it's fun. 